So Joe, I was out collecting um, in the field and I came across a whole bunch of weeds that I could not identify at all just by sight. And I'm wondering if there's any way that you have to help me identify some of these. Sure, Annabelle. I, I actually have a couple of programs and one of them is a CD uh, which I developed and it has many different characteristics and that has a thousand different weeds in California on it. The second program is an online program and it's free and it's on the website wric.ucdavis.edu. That one has fewer uh, total species, it has about 450 or so, and fewer characteristics. So it's, it's really meant more for homeowners um, or other people that see common weeds. Uh, it, you really should have, in that case, flowers because it's very difficult to identify, although you can in some cases, and we're going to demonstrate a few, you can identify plants even without flowers. So those are the two different programs that we're going to use. So bef before we actually identify your plants, I wanted to identify one that Ellen Dean gave me earlier today. So let's try this one on the CD and see if we can identify it. Okay, so let's look at uh, some of the characteristics of this plant on the key. Now you'll, you'll notice here that on, on the, this uh, CD that I have a lot of different general categories. One of them just general, and then there's flowers and fruit and leaves and stems and other things that we don't use as often. But in this particular case, we would probably first go to general and we would ask the question, answer any of these questions we want to. So for example, if you take a leaf off of this, pull a leaf off and tell me if it's bleed a milky white latex or is it just clear? All right, so it looks like there is no milky white juice coming out of this okay. leaf. So I've clicked on this and said juice not milky and you'll notice at the bottom that I had 722 choices. By picking that one I only lost a few. Now I'm still at 674 choices. That's far too many to be looking at pictures. So let's look at some other characteristics. So for example, why don't you smell that and tell me is it really obviously aromatic? Does it smell really pungent? Strongly aromatic. No, it doesn't have much of a smell at all. Okay, so let's say not strongly aromatic. So another characteristic is that this plant is an annual, and since it's July, this is a summer annual, and so I clicked on summer annual, and you can tell me now, how many do I have left? Oh my gosh, there's only 152 species left. That's right. <laughs> That's still a lot, and then we still have to narrow it down further, but we're getting closer. So now let's ask it uh, about growth habit, and let's look at it is a terrestrial plant, it's certainly not an aquatic plant. And if you look at this, it gives you the choices of whether it's prostrate, which is low, growing low to the ground, whether it's spreading, ascending, whether it's an erect plant, which it is. Mm -hmm. And it asks you whether it's erect and narrow, or erect and really bushy. So what, and, it, and then the, whether it's climbing or viney, which it clearly isn't. So what would you click here? I would say that looks pretty narrow yeah, rather so, than bushy. Okay, erect and narrow. And now you're down to 84. So we're just basically looking at very general characteristics of the plant, and we're down to 84. So let's go down now, leaf arrangement. Now, is there one leaf per node, or is there a different arrangement than that? Just one leaf per node. So if we choose that, we're down now to 58. So let's now look at leaf type, and they're asking you, is it a simple leaf, or is it a compound leaf? In other words, are there lots of leaflets, or is it just a simple leaf? Just a simple leaf. It doesn't get rid of many, but it knocks out four. I don't see any petioles That's at all. That's right. So the petiole is absent, and by clicking on that one, now we're down to 28. So you can see we haven't even gotten to leaf characteristics yet, and we're already narrowed it from 722 to 28. Let's see if we can get a little closer, like leaf length. So you've got a measuring tape there, and you can measure this in centimeters, or you can measure it in inches. It doesn't matter. Both of them are on here. So tell me how long uh, an average leaf would be on that plant. So it looks like it's about seven centimeters. Okay. Okay, so now let's look at leaf width. How wide would you say those leaves are? Again, this is going to be a fairly narrow leaf. Yeah, it's pretty narrow. Maybe six, maybe, mm, six millimeters. So in this case, we're not sure it goes 1 to 5 and 5 to 10. So let's use the OR command. And so I'll right click here and I'll say OR. 
and we'll say it's anywhere from one to 10 uh, millimeters and we feel pretty comfortable that that's a good range. So we've narrowed it down to 18 choices now. So now let's look at the leaf shape here. They're, they're long and they're thin and you have all these choices right here. Oh yeah. And so which one would you say it looked most like? Um, I think it looks, they're pretty linear. Yeah, okay, so let's, let's choose linear. Yeah. And when we choose linear, our choices now go down to 10. Now at this point, we could either look at pictures because it's only 10 choices, or we could go to this analyze button at the top and it tells you what you should then be looking at. And of course, remember, we don't have any flowers, so if it asks you to choose a number of petals like it does, we can't do that. So let's look at other characteristics that we might think might be useful in this. Here's one that says leaf surface. Can you tell me if that plant has any hairs on it? So I would say that this is a smooth surface. So that is, no hairs is glabrous. So we're going to choose glabrous and now we're down to four plants. And we can look at the pictures of all four of these. Let's, let's just look at the first one here and you can see there's four photos that you can look at and let's, or even more than that, there's actually five photos you can look at and let's look at this one because it's vegetative. Oh, whoa, that actually looks just like our plant. That is our plant <laughs> and that is slender aster. So this plant is Aster subulatus variety ligulatus. You can scroll down here and you can read about the plant in the description. It'll also tell you what page you should look on in the book of Weeds of California and other western states. So it tells you that it's on page 204 and so you can read a lot more about the biology of the plant. So that's how it works. And that was a plant that had no flowers on it and we were able to identify it just based on leaf characteristics. So I'll tell Ellen Dean what that identification is. But what I'd like now is for you to try to identify some of your plants using this same program. And so I'll start it over again and pick something that you have here on the table. So there's one that I'm actually particularly curious about, and it's this kind of nasty thing that I remember growing up as a kid, like I'd bike over it and it would puncture my bike tires. And um, I just collected it by the roadside, so I would love to know what this thing is. So let's start it again, and this time I'll let you uh, tell me all the characteristics that you see. So um, definitely the yellow flower. Um, as well as all of these leaflets, there's a lot of them, um, quite a lot of leaflets, like grows flat along the roadside, and so it must be a summer annual since it's flowering, and, and of course, these um, spiny, funky fruit. Okay, so let's use all the characteristics you gave me and see if we can correctly identify it. First, let's look at the life cycle, which you said was a summer annual, and I agree. And then let's look at the growth habit. This is, we know this is a terrestrial plant. And you said it was prostrate. Now we've already, just by those two characteristics, narrowed it down to 51 species. Let's go into flowers and look at five petals and yellow flowers. Two simple characteristics. So we'll say yellow flowers, five petals, now we're down to 10. And then the leaf characteristics. And in your case, you said that there were leaf type was compound. Mm -hmm. So I need you to count how many leaflets there are. Are there more than nine or less than nine? There are more than nine leaflets. Okay, so we choose that and oh. it's identified it to the species. <laughs> That's why it popped your tire. It's called puncture vine and you can see that it looks exactly yeah. like yours. Now let's look at the online program, which is a lot simpler, and it's really meant for people who have uh, plants that have all their parts to them. It's a lot mm. easier because there's fewer uh, characteristics.